welcome. In this video, we are going to set up a small Grafana labor or lab with uh, the help of Telegraph, and we are going to stream Matrix against our tel uh, our Grafana instance. So first, what I'm going to do is to install Grafana on my CentOS 8.2 machine, and after that, we are going to install Grafana on two more virtual machines and stream um, memory and CPU data. So let's get started. Let me SSH into my CentOS machine here on the Grafana. If you go to the Downloads tab under Self-Signed, Self-Managed, you can click on Download Grafana. Since I'm on a CentOS machine, I download the RPM. But before that, I think I have to install wget. All right. Yeah, I have to install it. So now I can wget Grafana. And after the download completes, what I should be able to do, come on. It's not fast, but at least it's slow. All right, then what I would like to do is to go ahead and spin up my Fedora 32 machine and spin up a Windows 2019 machine. So what we have to do in order to use uh, Telegraph is to download it and install it. And if everything goes well, we should be able to take the official install instructions and just go ahead and install it. Come on. Everything is so slow this time of year. Oh, my bandwidth is gone. Yeah. All right. So for Fedora 32 machine, what I would like to do is to log in and on the Windows machine as well, I would like to log in. And um, Yeah. So here we are going to need a PowerShell as administrator. And here we are going to need a terminal with super user privileges. Great. So Grafana is now downloaded. And what we have to do is to install it. So let's go back to here. What we need to do is to yum install Grafana. And what I'm also going to do after installation is to disable the firewall so we can connect to it with our browser. Uh, Grafana is going to run on the port 3000, so it should be no big deal to reach it in a browser. So system CTL stop firewall D system start Grafana server and enable. Great. Now if everything goes well, and why wouldn't it? I should be able to log in on the port 3000 with the admin admin and I don't want to update the password. So basically what we are going to need is from the left hand side under configurations the API key and we need to create a new API key. So telegraph stream is going to be the name. The role is administrator and we don't really want to have a time to live. All right, now we have the API key. 
So what's left for us to do is to go to the Fedora machine and install Telegraph. So in order to install Telegraph, we need to create a repository and let's call it telegraph.repo and here we have to insert this information now the OF. so this is basically the influxdb repository where telegraph lives now i can yum install telegraph Come on. And once we have installed Telegraph, what, what is the problem? Oh, yum config manager enable Telegraph. enable the repository <laughs> why is it taking so long mm -hmm. so this is enabled and yum update oh maybe this way yeah no right now we should be able to install telegraph <laughs> great so once this is out of the way we should be able to go back uh, not go back but rather open up the configuration file of telegraph we will create a backup from that and uh, <coughs> let's move to that see telegraph and uh, move the telegraph conf to telegraph conf back and let's create a new configuration we will have an agent where the interval is equal to one second and the flush interval is also one second and we will have the inputs that CPU and we say per CPU is false and total CPU is true and we will have the outputs that web socket and this output is going to use a URL. So the URL is from the HTTP, uh, not HTTP, WS, localhost 3000 API and live and push and Fedora stream and uh, yeah we should replace this with the ip address of the grafana system so 192.168.56.2 and what we need is the data format which is the in flux db and we will have the outputs websocket headers and we set the authorization to bearer and here we have to enter the api key 
that we just created and if everything goes well we can use the telegraph dash dash config file equals telegraph dot conf to run it or is it the config invalid influx db <laughs> so data format influx not influx db all right so now what uh, we could do since it's now uh, flushing this information is to add something more into the configuration so the inputs can be a lot of things so let me show you telegraph inputs and you should find the git repository uh-huh yeah this is it so this is for the memory input but here you will find under the inputs folder many other things that telegraph can stream and for example for a file you should be able to see the example usage all right so now we have the memory as well let's give it a test run and what i would like to do is to use the system ctl start telegraph okay now if we go back to our grafana instance and create a new dashboard we can give it a panel come on let's add a new panel let's give it the grafana this is a live measurement and here you should find a stream fedora cpu and now we start to have some data if we set it to last five minutes you can see the data coming in and let's just save it and add a new one so add panel we select grafana live measurement and memory and it's the last five minutes let's save it and apply it now what we could do is to basically name this title so fedora memory and apply it all right then let's remove it and the new panel live measurements mem and let's make this the time and the total all right great just remove it okay now we have the cpu here and uh, what i would like to do is to set this up on a windows machine as well so in order to do that i have to go to the windows and just use the following commands program files and mkdir influx data and navigate there and mkdir telegraph and I can issue the wget command 
the, the W get is uh, an alias for invoke web request, request. So that's why it should basically work. <laughs> and after the download is complete, what I should be able to do is to is to expand the archive because currently it is downloading a zip file and in order to do that we have to do the following so we are at quite some size How is it going along? C program files influx data telegraph. Great. So it's 30 megabytes. Oh, it's downloaded. All right. We have successfully expanded. This is going to stay as a backup folder. Copy this here. And what we would like to do is to open with notepad and we can remove it from the CentOS system or rather the Fedora we can copy this content and simply paste it in the Windows machine and it should be fine. Let's make this the Windows stream and save it. So once this is done, we should be able to uh, install Telegraph as a service. <laughs> but first we give it a test run. Error parsing. Open with Notepad. Oh, the agent is missing. Let's save it. <coughs> and now we have the Windows machine set up as well. So if you go here and create a new panel, select live measurements, name the panel to Windows CPU and here we select the Windows Stream CPU and save and apply it. You can see the data coming in from the Windows machine. Great. And we can add, the, add one for the memory. And yeah, let's give it the Windows memory and save it. All right. So basically, this is how you should be able to set up uh, Telegraph to stream these metrics to Grafana. And that was all. So see you in the next one.